Hey Google, turn on double light. Hey everyone, an 11 a.m. film tax incentive presentation that I was going to record. That was a last minute job giving of uh, our favorite producer. I don't know if it's because he couldn't uh, get the ticket for me to get in for free in time or there's something in general happened with the, the tax incentive presentation. I woke up at 8.30 to do it, and 9.30 I found out that it was a no-go. So I haven't gotten the shot list uh, from him. He said he was going to send it, I think yesterday, but he hasn't sent it. Uh, he, he says he's starting to feel better, so maybe we'll get it today. It is the middle of this month, and as far as I know, whatever he does give me, he expects me to get done in a month. As soon as it's the middle of the month, we only have 15 more days, and then I get my nerves burned off and then um, I shoot a wedding. So whatever he does give me, hopefully I can finish before then. If you remember the rap artist that I filmed uh, a music video as a YouTube editor, he's trying to sell me some SD lights, I think that's the name of the company, for $50. On Amazon it shows $60, although before all this research was done, he was claiming that he had bought it for about $220 which from an owner's perspective that is pretty pretty fishy and so that kind of makes you want to put up your guards about you know, what he's selling uh, especially when he says that he's only had it for three months you think you would definitely remember how much you bought it for and chances of it dropping in that amount of price in three months very slim if it did drop off drop in that uh, significant amount of price then it's Probably because it's not very good and it, it, it's known to break or something. Which is just as much of a reason as if he was just trying to overcharge. Overcharge or faulty equipment. Those are the two things that it could be. Hey everyone! I just got done with work and then I went to Planet Fitness, got a tan, worked out and found out um, that the person works there, Buffy, uh, their brother is a tattoo artist and uh, a relatively new filmmaker in, in it for two years, but he's made more movies than I can say. I mean, I just, I make, I guess, I've made a lot of shorts, I guess, but nothing that's been put into a film fest or anything. But what struck me as interesting is his mutual friends is uh, Timothy Paul Taylor and Brandon Gabriel, and apparently Brandon Gabriel is helping him with some of his movies, and and uh, I just um, sent him a friend request and and uh, and then messaged him. So. That's the thing. So I've got my shot list from, uh, I think I might have said his name earlier, but I think that might be okay. Yeah. But producer has not sent me shot list. Um, so that, and then tattoo artists, we got those things going on. And I still need to talk to the music artist about getting his lights. So yeah. All right, yeah, I just want to update you guys on that. <laughs>
doing oh it, doing a little test here. So I'm closing out the video. I haven't got the lights yet. Don't know when I'll get the lights yet. Um, one the one of the tests I'm really doing. Right now. Just seeing how far. We'll go before. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by that failure of a test. I was seeing how far the wireless uh, mic system went. Got uh, really didn't go that far. It only made it from the basement to um, to the stairway of the second house. If you smash that bell, I'll kind of be very much appreciated. I added these lights into this room. Don't know how much use there will be, but um, anything that makes the studio feel a little bit more like a studio. The the wedding that I'll be shooting, the price should be reduced from 400 to some new price that I do not know yet. Thanks for watching. There's going to be some an uh, annotations talking about watching next and what YouTube recommends. You click one of those and you can click subscribe. But either way you roll it, I'll see you later.